Welcome to WebWorld Tech. In this particular video, we are going to talk about Elastic APM services. So basically, what is APM? APM stands for Application Performance Monitoring. This was a feature which was launched by Elastic in uh, Elastic 6.2.1 and now we have reached to 7.9.1. Uh, so guys, uh, what is Elastic APM services? Before we start this discussion, I would like you to go through one presentation which will tell you the brief idea about uh, Elastic APM and why is it needed. So just have a look and then we'll continue on the explanation part of it. Basically, uh, you have seen the presentation. Uh, basically, it is just tell telling us that why do we need APM and what are the use cases uh, of you uh, where we need APM actually. Let's start our discussion on the APM in details. So, what is APM? Elastic APM is an application performance monitoring system built on Elastic Stack. So, what is uh, application performance monitoring and why is it needed? Let's understand that part first. So uh, suppose you are hosting an application, you have built an application in uh, any tech stack, maybe it is Node or it is .NET or Java, you are hosting it in the, into the production environment. Now you need to understand that what is the health uh, of that particular system, what is the network traffic which is going into that system. So with APM you can easily do all the stuff, you can monitor your server health, you can monitor the CPU consumption of your system, uh, you can monitor uh, you at uh, at different docker level, it, uh, at all the uh, different sorts of permutation and combinations are available and we are going to see a uh, couple of them inside this video. So yeah, the next point here to understand is like with APM you can monitor your application logs at real time and that is what we were discussing. So you are hosting your application in production environment and you will get uh, the production traffic which is real time traffic and you will see all these uh, things like what is your server health. How many uh, 4xx errors 404 uh, are coming on your uh, system? That means how many such pages are there where users are requesting for a feature but it is not coming up. So it is giving a page not found or it is giving API responses failing or something like that. So in order to monitor all these things at real time, this is the uh, solution for it. Elastic supports different APM agents based uh, setup for different tech stack as we discussed earlier. So Node, Java, .NET, Golang, there are ISP.NET Core. So different uh, sorts of uh, agents are already developed through which you can start logging this data and post it into the APM server which goes the internally to Elastic. And on top of that, with the help of Kibana, you can view it. You can understand how it is, what is happening inside your system. We'll see this uh, flowchart as a diagram in the next slide. I'll walk you through again on the same topic. It is available on Elastic Basic license. So the good part of it, uh, which I like the most, is uh, it is an open source stuff for the initial license. Obviously, when you uh, go to at production level, you might need a uh, upgraded license. But for testing it for the initial setup, you are free to do that. These all services are provided uh, in open source in Basic license. You can go ahead and try it. So let's go to the next slide. This is the uh, diagram which is given in the Elastic blog itself. I have given the reference here. You can go here and check uh, the further more details regarding it. But on a high level, what we were discussing currently is like you can see on the left side, uh, I have APM agent which is mentioned. The two APM agents are there. Suppose uh, inside a server you are using a Docker a Dockerized solution. So two different Docker images are there. One is using uh, maybe uh, Node uh, application, web application. One is using some other uh, Java or .NET web application. So two different uh, Elastic clients are needed. So you cannot have a common uh, uh, client to sh uh, push the server system data or the project data or application data inside APM server. 
as far as till now current date it's not available but maybe in future uh, elastic can come up uh, with uh, that sort of single client uh, architecture where you can push no matter it uh, it can be a different type of project or different tech stack but you can use a generic client but that is not the case currently so you what we have currently is that specific clients are configured for specific type of tech stack so currently suppose the first application is your node application second one is your asp.net core and with the, these two applications from your server you are pushing the data all the type of logs maybe your server log uh, like cpu uh, memory and all those sort of logs inside apm server from apm server it goes to your elastic search now from elastic search you cannot view it directly so we have definitely you are aware of kibana we have uh, the kibana is also upgraded with apm and you will see that uh, in the left side of the menu item inside kibana itself you will have a apm tab and when you click on it the complete apm uh, ui will come up on the screen there you can monitor all these logs based on your projects there will be a complete segregation on the project wise also i'll walk you through while we do this setup in this video so let's go ahead and start this video in the implementation perspective let's check it out so guys this is our elastic uh, home page it is running on my local system so you can see there is an option uh, on your home page itself in, under observability it is add apm when you click on this before we go into details uh, i would just like to highlight this is the kibana 7.8.1 if you go to stack management you will see the option is uh, this is clearly mentioning welcome to stack management of 7.8.1 so uh, you can get the exact experience and exact uh, data points which i am highlighting in the same version in the next version or the some earlier versions you will get slight difference not much of a difference but you can search uh, easily kibana is a very handy tool so yeah let's go ahead so inside kibana home page uh, we are going to add, do add apm inside add apm you there are different options which are mentioned here so we are going to follow this exactly i am running uh, on this mac operating system so download and unpack apm so so copy the command from there and hit it in your terminal you can specify the place where it want needs to be uh, downloaded and saved i have already done that i am not going to uh, download it again so you can do it in your uh, respective folder wherever you want to place it the next thing is you need to extract that file and you need to go inside that particular folder we are going to uh, do this part now let's go to desktop drive softwares elastic you can see my apm server is available here i have two versions downloaded 7.6.2 and 7.8.1 we are working on 7.8.1 so we'll go to uh, inside that apm server 7.8.1 enter you can see i have different uh, files and folders here available so there is a command which i'm going to execute now inside this place inside this folder dot slash apm hyphen server hyphen e you can see the apm server is starting now let's go to our kibana so we have covered these steps we have not changed uh, any of the configuration because uh, all the setup currently elastic kibana everything is running on my local so the default settings will, will work perfectly fine and i have ran this command so one two three steps have been covered now let's see whether apm server is running or not check apm server status so good congratulations your apm server is up and running now how you can see the data where is apm uh, is available so you can see just come on this hamburger menu click on apm so this is what is your apm console looks like currently there are no services no client has been installed or uh, i would rather say none of the project is pushing any data to this apm uh, server so basically it's not getting used currently so now what we are going to do we are going to install a basic node client inside a sample project which will start pushing the data into this apm let's see how it works so guys this is our sample application uh, it has nothing but a basic setup uh, it's a node server running on port 3050 it has few sample routes and it's just the basic hello world type of application uh, which is just returning two routes 
slash I'm listening to this route and welcome to home page with no UI, no uh, such configurations done. Let's run it. So it's running on port 3050. Let's go to localhost 3050, enter. So now it's, so now the application is running. Let's go to home page. So this is uh, perfectly working fine. Let's go back to our code. So guys, in this uh, particular project, what we are going to do is installation npm install elastic apm node save. So this is the package. This is actually the client with which you are going to uh, uh, add a node agent in your project. And this will start pushing the data to the apm server. What is the configuration for it? That, that will have a look. From where did I get this uh, information regarding this client? So in order to check that, you can go to the same uh, Kibana setup where we found the APM installation part and you'll get the details there itself. Let's have a look at that once. So you can see we have covered till, till this particular step. We have also checked whether our APM is running or not. So our APM has been successfully running. Now here you can see there is a configuration of APM agents. So you can see as, I, as we were talking earlier, so Java, Node, uh, Django, Ruby, Go, .NET, there are a lot of stuff, uh, agents which are there uh, in this particular configuration for APM. So here you will step, uh, see the step number four, install APM agent. So it is clearly giving you the uh, agent name. So you just copy this command, go to our code base, enter and install it. It will take a couple of minutes and the installation will be done. So guys, the installation is complete. Uh, we'll go to package JSON file and just have a look at it. So elastic APM node is installed 3.7.0. Now how to use it? Again, let's back, uh, go back to our same uh, Kibana page. The next step which we are going to do is configuration of the agent. So just copy this complete snippet your, uh, on the top of your particular app.js file. Now just go through this one by one, line by line. So it requires the uh, Elastic APM node package, starts it and it has to, you have to give a service name. So service name, what is it? I'll show you when we go to the Kibana APM part. Uh, we'll show it in, uh, on the Kibana dashboard. So service name, I'm just giving testing APM. Let's keep it like this. Secret token, as it is on local, I'm not going to use it. So just let it be blank or you can comment it out. Uh, server URL it will be or this one, the default one. Localhost 8200. Why? Because why 8200? Because our APM server is running on 8200 port. So this is our APM server. You can see APM server is running here. Uh, let's look for port 8200. So as you can see, it is listing on port 8200, uh, 127.0.0.1 and the port is 8200. So that's why we are configuring it, port 8200 here. Now all the setup is done. Let's uh, just start this project again. It is up and running. Let's go to the browser. Now this is the particular endpoint which we have hit earlier. Now uh, before hitting this, I would like you guys to uh, just go to the APM you'll see there's no services found here but as soon as we are going to hit I'm reloading it multiple times refresh it looks like it's not working uh, let's go to our instructions page so guys uh, we'll come back to this particular place again and uh, We'll see whether all our status is checked or not. So APM server status is running. We came inside Node.js. We have completed till this step. And the next is check the agent status, which is also fine now. And let's load Kibana objects. So uh, this is also up and running. Let's launch our APM.
Yes, now you are able to see your project which you are pushing with the name of testing APM. The environment is development because we have not explicitly mentioned it. Now uh, let's go inside this. You can see uh, we have hit two different URLs on our localhost. localhost it's up and running so one is the default route the other one is the home so this url is also working now so let's go back to our apm refresh it let's collect the data of last 15 minutes you'll see it, st it has started getting the hits you can go inside transactions to see further details regarding that specific transaction so this is the timeline uh, where you will see how much time this uh, endpoint has taken to respond back to the user if you click on this one you will see the other details like uh, header informations and client information and the system server related uh, runtime information and all those stuff so uh, this is very useful information uh, which you can use for different purposes to detect the user uh, user agent and a lot of stuff can be done on top of it let's see the other tab the other side is the metadata Metadata also gives you the uh, almost similar set of information, but that is after you can check uh, this information. So it has been categorized as user agent or URL, uh, agent information, server information, host, uh, and all those stuffs. Let's go back to our uh, services now. Again, go inside this to your project, check for the errors tab. Currently, there is no error. So let's generate one error. Let's go back to our code. So we are going to throw the error from here. Let's try throw new error and that error will be testing error. Let's restart our server. Now server is up and running. Let's hit that route. So zero five zero. So you can uh, see the testing error has came up. If we keep on reloading also, the same error will happen. If we hit the other route, which was slash home, it will work. But slash is failing because we are throwing an intentional error from this route. So uh, let's go to APM and, and see uh, whether it is uh, able to catch this one. Let's go inside testing project, click on errors. Yes, so you can see the error has been generated. It is. It will tell you uh, the number of occurrence also and how much time it has uh, earlier it has occurred. Click on this and you'll get to know about the details from where the error has been originated. This is a very uh, good feature which is provided by Elastic APM because you'll get to know the exact line of the error origination and you can immediately go and fix it. So this is how you uh, you see uh, how easily you can configure uh, the APM and you'll get to know about the information on transactions which is happening. Transactions means whatever uh, routes are getting in, uh, getting uh, hit by the users on your system and what is the traffic coming in out. Uh, you can also clearly see the segregation between uh, HTTP status codes. When you go to the uh, next tab which is matrix, you'll see uh, it is giving you the information about the system, the CPU usage, the memory usage, and this is getting monitored from my local. So if you click on host, you will see uh, kumar.amit uh, local uh, machine is getting uh, monitored because we are hosting this complete setup on my local system. So guys, this is the startup kit uh, for the APM, Elastic APM. You can uh, go through it, uh, try it on your system, and uh, let me know how it uh, worked out for you. And yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching.